hello everyone uh, in this video uh, we will add the filter option on the azure map and what we will do we will add this filter option where we have the value of the drop down as open in progress and in closed and when we select one of these option then the particular asset will be displayed and it will display the filter values of this asset will be displayed and accordingly on the map those locations also will be filtered so we'll see the demo of that but before we proceed there uh, in the last videos we have added this button dnlb show map on the assets main grid and this loads this html web resource and here we have added the we have developed the components uh, in the last videos in the last video we have added this path so here uh, what we are going to achieve is uh, we'll add one drop down field here and that is option drop down field and inside that we will have three values that is in progress open in progress and closed the values of this here is let me duplicate this solution here this is the make.powerapps.com here in the cell in the table on the customer asset for the uh, asset status there is three options right here we have having for open value is one for in progress value is two for close value is three so like that with three option values we will create one option field here on this map right side and when you select one of it then it will filter these locations and then accordingly the map will be updated this path also on the map will be updated so to do that uh, i'm going i'm going to continue with uh, the the js file which we have already there so first of all we need to include the um, uh, we need to add this option set field here so for that i'm going to modify the html file here so here i will add the another div so div id equals div filter okay and inside that we'll add the uh, fields of the, uh, the the tag of the for the uh, option so for that um, first i'm going to add the label that is assets status okay and below and next to that we'll have the option option id i'm going to give this as assets asset assets status okay and then inside that we'll have the option sorry this will be the select and then we'll have the option value equals to first of all i'm going to add another minus one because for this is for uh, this one uh, select for this option i'm going to give this one okay next is option value equals one that is for open okay uh, here the third option is value equals sorry second option is will be two that is for in progress and the last one is the closed value equals three okay so three option we have added along with one select so we need for that the value is minus one so it is simple now so now uh, let's add this one before that uh, just add a little bit uh, few few style here so i'm going to the filter i'm going to add some style like margin uh, overall i am both the, all the sides margin as five pixel here then float i will put into the right side okay and for the select tag uh, a small margin that is sorry the width i'm going to set it as 150 pixel okay a little bit uh, wide okay with equal 150 pixel so we have updated the our html file okay let me copy this name I'm just checking fine okay select tag is updated I, this is our id of the select tag okay so i'm going to save this file and upload this file in the 
HTML wave resource, which is nothing but this one. So I have selected this file and then updating it. Publishing the solution. Okay, and if I reload this one, let's see how it will look like. Okay, so we are having asset status. Okay, there is a spelling mistake, and then we are having these three options, right? So I will correct that spelling here. So it is a status. I will save and update this file again. My mistake. Okay, so we have published the file. So now uh, after this one, we'll modify the JavaScript file. Okay, it is correct. So now we'll modify the JavaScript file, which is nothing but this one. So here, uh, so what we are going to do, since we already have developed one function called add resources, where we fetch the custom asset, right? So we, we already have condition here. So uh, we have, we need to add one more condition with the asset status, right? So I have, if, if you see the advanced find, how we build is, we add the asset uh, status equals to something in progress or in open, something like that we add, right? So suppose example, I'm going to add open, then, uh, when we when we do like this one, if we download the fetch XML, then fetch XML some it will look like something this. We're having the attribute status equals to you. So along with the other two conditions, we'll have one more condition for the filtering the as based on the status asset status. So and when there is no value, when there is a, a like when the does not contain data. When there is no value, uh, asset status is not selected any value. Then for that, uh, what we do is uh, we have filter condition something like that. Operators equals null. Operator is null. So it is like that. So we will we will be using these two conditions to uh, filter the uh, customer asset based on, along with the other ones. So we can see next to this one, we will have this condition. So for that, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one variable to store that filter condition value. So here in the top, along with the other variables, I'm going to create new variable where filter by assets status equals to empty, okay? And then inside this will update the filter. So before that, uh, first we need to know uh, when this is this uh, uh, this tag is loaded on the Azure map in HTML. Then we need to add the on change event on this one. So for that, I can use the jQuery because in the HTML file you can see already I have included the jQuery's uh, library here, right? So I can access it. So that is why I'm going to write the jQuery a small piece of code here to uh, find the event when the map is ready under this one when the map is ready here i'm going to add the event here the the element name is id name is this one asset status so select this one so on this element we will add the event on change and then we'll write the function Okay, so inside the function, first we'll take this element. So uh, drop down uh, options, we can say equals to the same element. Okay, and we will check if the um, if it was the value which we'll get here is nothing but the uh, string value, right? Minus one, one, two, three. So we'll convert to the integer and then we'll check because here in the condition we have to pass as integer one, two, three, something like that, right? So here I'm just, just for making the condition, I'm going to convert parse it to the integer and then do that. So we are having the parse int JavaScript function and here we have the DD option first element dot value. If it is equals equals to minus one, then which means this is our for null condition else it will be our for other values like one two three option value like when it is minus one then we have the select value if it is 
one for one then open two for in progress three for closed okay so for that we need to uh, take this uh, sample condition here i'm copying this part putting into the else here which is nothing but condition and here i will we have to update to our filter value so this is our variable filter asset status i'm going to set it okay so here double quote closing it we have to make this as a single quote okay and uh, this also equals also and this will be the our value so value will be like this we have to make the dynamic value plus two so here it will look like this so this two will be the dynamic so it will be parse int and that is of this is the same value what we get here parse int float option right so this uh, parse int of the option of zero value so this is the thing we need to put between this plus okay this will be the integer value of the um, parse int value of the top down value what we have select if it is minus one then it should be something like equals to null so i'm going to set this here so copy this one and uh, set here and this will be set to this variable okay assigned to this variable so okay i'm doing that we need to change the double quote to single quote these condition values okay so done so finally we have updated it so once it is done so we have to do few things this filter condition we have to update into the fetch xml what we have already created so i'll go to down this is our fetch xml and along with the other two condition i'm going to add that one so here i will add the filter condition we have done it and this will filter along with the other two condition now and uh, obviously when the when first time the code is loaded it will be initialized to empty and every time when this changes is happening then uh, when the changes will be happening on this field then it will update the new condition value and then it will set it once it is done we have to uh, now we have to show these things on the map so already as we have seen there is uh, already we are having the data source right which store the value of uh, uh, which store the value of Sorry, my mistake. There is a on change uh, here. Function else correct. Okay, there is something. There is issue in the closing parentheses. Maybe I'm just checking it. Okay, this is not correct. Okay, something like that. Okay, this, there was some mistake. Okay, so we have passed it. Fine. Okay, so now uh, first of all, as we are having the data source for the uh, for the data source for the uh, displaying the symbol layer and data source for the uh, map, which is nothing but line data source, we have developed from the previous video. So we have to clear it so that we when we call this add resource function again, then it will have the latest filter value into that. So that is why let's clear these two here. Once these two are assigned, then then data source dot clear and then uh, line data source dot clear so we'll clear it and then there is one more variable we had created on the map so uh, when we when we do this display of this list uh, on the on the route on this map right so these points we have pushed into the feature very features array right so this array is defined here features array so this array also we have to make it empty so so that uh, every time when this filter will happen based on this one so we'll have only two options so then those two options should be moved into the uh, in the features array only those two options should be there so that the uh, uh, path will be calculated on that two points only not the other points so for that we need to reset it so i'm just going to do that here so here features equals to empty all right and then we will call this function the add resource 
so now in the add resource already we have seen that it will first filter it will get the filter custom asset value then it gets the points and then push the points to the data sources here and few under features also and under this one it pushes to these two data sources so now it will have the latest filter values displayed on the map so i think we have completed the changes in the code let me save this file and upload this into the web resource okay publishing it done so i'm going to refresh this again Okay, so map is displaying, uh, route path is also displaying. I'm going to select as one. Then based on the one, you can see I have three open and then it is displaying the path for that. So if you see the in the uh, in the advanced find a status equals to if you select equals to open. How many we have here? So we are having four so if i'll zoom in into the map yeah you can see there's two points together so that is why total four locations are here on the map so it is working fine so like that you can develop the uh, other filter conditions also and you can create the uh, dynamic uh, placeholder for the variable for the filter on this one and you can update these filter criteria on the fetch xml and this latest developer developed code of the javascript it will be uh, available in the github my github repository and the path of the github i will share in the description box you can download the latest of uh, js file and the html file also for uh, uh, html file also on the github and the link it is available in the uh, description box so i hope uh, this video was useful to you guys and thank you for watching this video